this video was gonna be so annoying to edit. Little disclaimer before we start, guys. One, I'm wearing a ponytail and I don't know how I feel about it. I'm being all selective because you got a ponytail. If you know where that's from, I love you forever. Like, literally, we're best friends. If you know what the. You acting all selective because you got a ponytail. If you know where that's from, we're best friends now. You do have to provide down in the comments where that's from, though. So, as you can see by the title, this is a Vampire Diaries recap. And Damon and. I was gonna say Damon and Ian. Ian and Paul are not behind me. Stefan and Damon are nowhere to be found. Um, my brother is currently in Tokyo and I let him borrow my camera. And my vlogging camera doesn't do good with filming lights. So I couldn't do my green screen, but I didn't want to just do a MacBook video. I gotta give some kind of quality to you guys. So, starting off first. Wow, the battery's gonna die and I literally want to shoot myself right now. Starting off first. Look! Ian and Michael Malarkey autograph that we're giving away. So if you guys want to enter, the only rule is you must be subscribed. You must be subscribed to win either the Ian or the Michael Malarkey autographs. And that's it. You just have to be subscribed because I want to get back to my subscribers. So starting off, the episode is called Trip to the Woods. And basically, someone woke up in Stefan's body and it's not Stefan. At the beginning, I was tripping out because I was like, doppelgangers, that's the other dude. What was his name? Silas. And then somebody was like, no, girl, it's a random ass guy named Marty. Hey, Marty. Marty McFly. No. Okay. Even heroes can't save them all. And that's where it clicked. The hero hair clicked. And he was like, Stefan Salvatore. Like, that's who I am. And I really like that part because it's like, Seven is always a hero. So I really like that part. So everyone's basically free from the stone. And it's just crazy. And Raina went nuts. And she broke. And she ran away. Matt tries to be relevant. And we all hate Matt Donovan right now. So that sucks. Because Matt Donovan was the guy you loved, you know. He was the heartthrob of the show. He was just the innocent person that everyone loved. And then this season, everyone's like, Matt Donovan, fuck you, basically. Which is just sad to say, but it's true. Nobody likes him. At least me. There's somebody out there that's like, Andrea, I like Matt Donovan. What's wrong with you? But me and him, we're not friends. And I've said that a couple times. It just sounds like Caroline, like, season two, where she tells Tyler, she's like, you and me, we're not friends anymore, Tyler. I have, like, a recreation that I did of that scene. I miss those. I need to do those. Somebody requested one. I forgot her name. But, um... I'm gonna try to work on some soon because, but once I get my camera back, cause, yeah. What did add about Reyna was, we gotta get them, like, we have to go trap them all. She literally sounded like, she was like, we gotta go catch them all, like, it's Pokemon or something like that. Like, I just thought that was hilarious. Like, literally, Pokemon right there. Reyna is Ash, alright? Like, it's literally that. Like, if you think about it, the Pokeballs would be her knife, and she has them all trapped in there. Like, hello, Pokemon. Vampire Diaries. Another quote that I really loved was that Alaric was like, 100 tweets about the zombie apocalypse. Like, I thought that was hilarious. That creepy TV when Stefan walks into that house, I was like, bye. Just bye. Like, turn off the TV. Bye. That literally scared the crap out of me. I don't like creepy TVs. Literally, the ring. Bye. When Damon found, like, fake Stefan, and he's like, well, I need to go to Memphis. Peace out, bro. And then, like, flies out of the, the door. Like, t tell me somebody saw that he, like, flew out of the door. Why are you going to Memphis? What's so important there? And then I also thought about season three or four. Season three, four. I don't remember. Where Klaus and Stefan go there and they just start killing people all over the place. Good times with Klaus. I died. I literally died of laughter. Damon as Donovan. Like, he was trying to play Matt Donovan. And he's like, I'm the cop, Matt Donovan. He, like, compels everyone. But my favorite part of that whole thing was that he's literally, like... I'll question her. And then the cop is like, don't worry, everybody. Matt Donovan's got this. And it's not Matt Donovan. <laughs> like, it was just so hilarious. Like, that was my favorite quote of this episode. Where he's like, don't worry, everyone. Matt Donovan's got this. Like, it was just, it was hilarious. Oh, my God. When Stefan hallucinates and he sees Damon on the car, I was like, well, that was easy. Oh, my God. Thank God. And he's like, either you're really here or this is the hallucinating part. And I was like, mm, he's not really there. And then the girl's like, well, if you find my phone, give it back to me. I'm like, we're looking for a serial killer and you over here tripping about your phone? Bitch, bye. It's snowing out there. You really think that thing's going to work? And of course, Vampire Diaries does its magic and the phone works. Of course the phone would work. Like, it's Vampire Diaries. How would it not? It's all snow. And you know damn well if it was a real iPhone out there, it would die. So he called it and I literally loved every second of that. Like, I need to explain this. I loved every second of that phone call between Stefan and Damon. The good, the bad, the sad, the mad, the worried, everything. I loved how that played out. It was too much to talk about right now. But I just, I gotta put that out there. I love that whole part. Just broke my heart when he was like, what does my voice say? And then Damon was like, that I'm selfish and da da, -da. And I'm like, no, Damon, you're supposed to say that you want your brother back. Like, mm -hmm. Literally, literally, what the hell? Like, the world hates me. Like, Quite it and the battery just died on that. So I just switched my computer to finish this off. He's like, no, I'm selfish, da-da-da. 
And then he said, uh, you bailed on me. And I'm just like, that is so true. Like, he only thought about Elena. Like, yes, Elena made him a better person. But, dude, that's your brother. The thing that broke my heart was that Stefan's like, I don't believe that you'll be here in time. Like, once again, you bailed on me. Like, I don't believe you'll be here. And I'm just like, this mm, mm, my heart. And then we flash over to Lark and Valerie. And she said, I fell in love with her. Lark says that he fell in love with Caroline. And it was just like, mm. I don't know. I thought that was really sweet. And of course, Valor is like, I ship you guys because I ship me with Stefan. Stefan said, remember when we were planning to go see Kes kids? And he's like, yeah, because he would cheat. And then he said, no, I would just hide in dad's office and he wouldn't look for me. And Stefan said, what, were you scared to get in trouble? And he's like, no, I was scared for you, not for me. And then um, I'm like, why'd you bring that up? And as soon as I said, why'd you bring that up? Damon literally goes, why'd you bring that up? And he said, because I know you'll never find me. And then my heart broke. And then Stephen like, falls asleep. He's like, good night. And then he found him. And then that's the end. They're walking back. At the end, <laughs> we end up in Memphis. And, um, hello, frat house. What's up? Um, time to party. I want to get drunk. Here's some beers. Um, people are about to die. Is that cool? All right. The end. Vampire Diaries. I thought this episode was honestly crazy, and I want to know you guys' thoughts and opinions on it, so make sure you guys comment those below. Do not forget that I'm giving away this Ian Summerhalter autograph, and this Michael Malarkey one. Thank you for all the new people that have came to my channel, too. It's really sweet of you guys, and I wish everyone the best of luck. Just, like I said, be interactive on social media, and make sure you guys comment what you guys thought about the episode, because I really want to know what you guys thought. I love conversating with you guys in the comments, so just let me know what you guys thought about this episode. Bye, everyone. Love you.